In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about a tool that can help you restring or set up a floating tremolo and do it faster. One of the things I've learned over the years is that there are certain things that some guitar players are a little intimidated by. Obviously working on the nut on a guitar, working on frets, and also messing with floating tremolos. It seems to be the first thing that really freaks guitar players out, even doing something as simple as a restring. And so the people at Tremolo Buddy have created a device to make that simpler. I'm gonna tell you what exactly it does well and what it doesn't do well, and how close to the promise that it is a, essentially makes tr floating tremolos, restrings and setups a breeze for anyone. Let's start with this. If it looks like a clamp, it's because it is. <laughs> it's a really simple idea that has two features. Uh, that's the important thing, it has two features that really, if you think about it, if, if you look at it this way, you have a clamp and some of you are gonna like, I can just make that at home. Maybe you can, I don't know. What I will tell you though, is this is really thought out and let me show you how and why. What I have here is a Godot bridge. It goes forward and back because it's recessed. And what happens on a guitar like this is when you go to restring it, you take the strings off and then the bridge sinks into the, into the body or into the cavity and uh, that's not good. And you can shove paper under there. There's all kinds of, uh, you could put a wedge of plastic. You could put some business cards underneath it. That'll work, okay? But this is what they came up with. What it does is it clamps here. And then, so like that, see, clamps, really simple. I just did it, it wasn't any harder than that. And what you can see here is, this is the, let's see here, this is the arm. And what you can do is just clamp this down, just pushing down and put just a little bit of pressure on that arm. And so what happens, and if I was to loosen the tension, which is what I'm doing right now, You can hear these. I want them. I don't want them just detuned. I want them like no tension whatsoever. There you go. There is no tension on this. So I want to show you this because it's really cool. Check this out. This is how it's working. You see here the bridge is doing exactly what it says. You can see. Okay. One of the things I absolutely love is let's flip this thing over. There you go. Look at that. So now normally you guys know it's a pain in the butt. Your tremolo arm hits this mat and you have to take it off. You can see here, they made the kickstand for you and perfectly lines up. So you can take your strings out. It's pretty smart. Now there is a caution I have to give you. I told you there's a negative. Here's the negative. Tremolo arms like this that are thick, like what's on Godo, Godo style bridges, Floyd Roses, no problems. If you use some of the Fender style tremolo arms that are really thin, they can actually bend. <laughs> so they just don't have the strength. That's the one downfall. So some of your strap players uh, not gonna be so interested in this. Now what I have here is a seven string. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just clamp it down. Now I know what you're thinking, how is this harmful for your finishes? I have tried it on every guitar I have. I have left it on there, <laughs> which I sometimes question my sanity, but my it's my dedication to the channel uh, and I have not found any issues. In fact, if you notice I'm sliding it sideways, I haven't found where the rubber pads have done any damage. And now again, you're now free to cut the strings off. And what's great is you take the strings off. This is the crazy part. <laughs> you can take the strings off, put new strings on, tune them up, stretch them a little bit, tune them up again, and you will be almost in tune. I mean, it's not dead on, but I mean, you're about there. So you don't have to worry about anything going wacky. Now keep in mind, you have 10 gauge strings, go tens. You change gauge of strings, you will need to adjust your springs and stuff. But essentially that's how it works. It's pretty simple. And I'd also like you guys to know that I spent months with this. This wasn't like I spent a couple days or a couple hours with this to figure this out. This has been on my bench. You can see it in old videos for months. And I looked for any issues I could find. And those are the issues I found. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. As always, I want to thank you so much for your time. Till the next time, know your gear.